welcome to today's video. Today I'm at the Wagyu Bar in Miami, Florida, about to take on their Monster Tomahawk Challenge. Now in front of me, I do have one of their three pound Tomahawk steaks, a three pound picanha steak, and then a side of cream spinach and a side of their bacon macaroni and cheese. Now I have one hour to take this on in order to get the massive $250 meal for free, a groovy t-shirt, and a spot up on their wall of fame. But yeah, there's nothing to it but to dig into this delicious rare steak. Let's get this challenge underway. One, two, three, let's go. All right, let's start with the picanha which is massive. Okay, I think they said to go against the grain, so let's do it. Ooh, that is tender. Now you don't eat the fat cap, correct? You don't. Okay. Well, the end. But the end. they did, so <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna eat it. If I had the opportunity to not eat it in the beginning, I wouldn't have made it. The, the oh, that is fantastic. Yeah. I know, it's still But like, the tomahawk, you'll be fine. Mm. You, roast, you roast it and then you still get... Okay, this is already the most delicious steak I've ever had. What is up, Kilo Crew, and welcome to the most expensive and most carnivorous food challenge that I have ever done solo. This one sure was fun. And this is finally a good sharp knife. And yes, I know I hold my fork like a small child. I'm going quick. Definitely got a lot of flack for the way I held my fork during the Big Texan Steak Challenge, so just had to let you guys know. It was necessary to hold the fork that way. The fat cap does make this one a little more difficult to cut into, but I am gonna try and eat it just so that I'm leaving no doubt. So right before me, Randy and Nathan Figueroa did this challenge. You'll have to check out their videos to see how they did. That is so good. Let's go, Tina. ninjas? It was super awesome to finally get a chance to meet and collaborate with Nathan Figueroa while on this trip. He is such a nice guy, and he is an awesome, awesome eater and an amazing video creator, so definitely check him out. This is also perfectly seasoned. Not too salty or too peppery. Absolutely. Getting back into describing the food, I am not bougie by any means whatsoever. I am cool with like a Texas Roadhouse steak, but y'all, you can taste the quality in this. It is absolutely worth the extra cost for that quality. Now I know why it's called A1 sauce. It's for A1 level beef. This is A5 beef. I was definitely ignorant going into this that there was like this whole grading system involved with different steaks. I had heard of it a little bit from like watching the Food Network and stuff but I had no idea that there were like different country certifications for how you would uh, quantify the level of steak that you're eating. But yeah, you can definitely tell the quality and tenderness of this picanha steak by just how quickly I tore through this thing. It's only about 12 minutes in here and I polished off three whole pounds of normally very chewy steak. Final bite of the first steak going down. All right, let's do some tomahawk. I'm excited, I've never had one of these. These are very like Instagram steaks. Don't worry, I will clean the meat off the bone. Oh my goodness, y'all. If you haven't seen a tomahawk in person, these things are insane. I felt like an absolute cave woman digging into this thing. Tomahawk is way more tender than the picanha. I'm really enjoying this right now. That is amazing, but it's definitely a fatty cut of meat. Wow, there's like butter almost. I feel like a significant portion of the tomahawk steak is fat, but that is, I guess, part of what makes it a higher quality cut of meat. You want there to be more fat in there for it to render. I'm excited because Katina's gonna kill with us. I think they did give her uh, more cream spinach than us. Really? A little bit. Well, if that's my downfall, I will die a creamy spinachy death. More spinach means more gains, right? At least that's what Popeye the Sailor Man says. But yeah, everything here was phenomenal. I have zero complaints on this challenge, that is for sure. You're picking them up, babe. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so proud of you. Aw. How you doing? Mm. This, is good. Really good. this is really delicious. She's doing really well. How do you like it both for now? Her strategy is better than mine. Yeah. It's the same as Nathan's. You got it first? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I actually kind of like the picanha a little more. The wet, uh, the tomahawk's really good, but it's a little fattier. Mm -hmm. And I, I like 
fatty, but a little bit much for me. But very good. That was not a dose. Sorry. <laughs> This was certainly not a low fat challenge. This was roughly, we were estimating 10,000 calories. So there y'all go, 10,000 calorie challenge in one sitting. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy right now. You know it has to be good if I'm getting this excited and it's not dessert. I'm gonna try dipping it in some of the cream spinach. Might be a good move. Oh, money. Okay. That's happening again. That is amazing. Oh. You got like five minutes left. Oh, yeah. Call me Popeye. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am falling behind my pace that I was intending to set, but that's okay. I'm enjoying this. There really was no need to rush this high quality of a meal. This is something that you definitely want to take the time to savor and enjoy. Of course, I had to beat the clock, so I had to do it with a little bit of purpose and haste, but all good things must come to an end, including this fabulous steak and these sides, which are about to get smashed. Now we're just getting the meat off of this uh, tomahawk bone here, and then it's onto the sides. Oh, let's finish up this delicious challenge. And editors note that leftover chunk of meat on the plate there was gristle and nothing edible, I promise. Okay, the moment you have all been waiting for, I'm gonna pick up the bone. And this is the rib of the cow, right? Yeah. Okay. You have the cow's butt, now I have the rib. I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> not what happened. <laughs> but that booty dough was yeah. pretty good. All right, 31 minutes in, finish this up. As primal and fun as it is to eat meat off the bone, I hate having food stuck in my teeth, so this was cringy for me. I feel like a barbarian, but it's kind of fun. It's all up in my teeth, though, as I feared. I felt like one of the Flintstones gnawing on this thing, but it was actually really fun. Oh, that's all up in my teeth. I gotta bust out the knife again. I can't handle it. I picked it up just to have a good uh, moment for y'all watching, but now we're gonna cut off the rest. All right, what do you think and leave no doubt? Is this good? I agree. Okay. I accept. The king of leave no doubt says I'm good. That is very good. The like burnt crispy parts are nice. All right. Final bite of steak going down. Very delicious. looking sides. All right, we got plenty of time. Not trying to beat any records, but we are gonna just tuck in and enjoy it. That is very rich. I guess they normally serve this creamed spinach as like a dip, but they served it to us as a main dish. But it was like a Parmesan sort of crema combo that was really delicious, but as I mentioned, quite, quite rich. That cheese and Parmesan. Thankfully, I'm a huge Parmesan fan, so this went down real easy for me. I'm gonna open up my tummy just a little bit more. Steak sitting heavy. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely feeling full at this point, but I could see the end was near, and I was really looking forward to that mac and cheese. What do you think? I don't know about chugging this butter. That's <laughs> <laughs> not butter, it's love. That really sounds unappetizing to me right now, but. Is the butter part of the challenge? Do no, I have to chug it's it? not part of the challenge. Okay, I'm not chugging the butter. Randy's a weirdo, he chugged the butter. I'm not doing it. But yeah, all the spinach is gone. Moving on. We <laughs> have some delicious mac and cheese left. No good burp. Excuse me, sorry. Well, okay, there we go. Life is good. Ooh, that's very smoky. Woo! I should have done this while it was hot. I had really been looking forward to that mac and cheese, but unfortunately, that bacon was a bit too smoky and chewy for my liking at the time. I'm trying to fish out the smoky bacon. I'm sure Hungry Katina would love that, but right now, I just want the mac and cheese. 
Well, that'll do it for input from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. What do you think of the bacon? I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's very chewy. Yeah. Smoky. Yeah. Kilo crew, final bite of this delicious challenge going down. Cheers to y'all. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Mm. Wow. That was incredible. Give me one moment to gather myself. All right, Kilo Crew, so that was an amazing challenge. I got through that in 47 minutes and 48 seconds. That was crazy. That is officially now the most steak I've ever eaten in one sitting. At six pounds, that was a lot of meat. And the two sides were absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed the cream spinach. And then the mac and cheese was pretty good as well. I think if I was hungry, I would have enjoyed that more. The bacon was a bit much when you're kind of full. Uh, but that was awesome. Thank you so much to everyone here at the Wagyu Bar. Uh, thankfully for winning, I do get the $250 meal for free. Randy would have been real mad if he had to pay that tab. I would have got it for you. I'm just kidding. And I also do get a really groovy t-shirt, which you guys will see at the end of the video. Anyways, that is enough talking. Thank you guys so much again. I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay, peace out. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>